At the beginning of the new year I felt a lot of motivation to try new things and one of those new things was taking ice baths. I have done some cold exposure in the past but never a proper ice bath so I was super happy that my friend Nicolas, who you might know as the amazing photographer from my other videos, was brave enough to join me. Since we had a photo shooting beforehand it was already dark when we arrived at the lake. I think I'm going to the So somewhere is the sea. Yesterday when we came home from the lake I got so tired, I just went to bed and fell asleep immediately. I actually wouldn't have expected that. I actually thought that due to the adrenaline rush which you get right after the ice bath that I might not be able to fall asleep. But as soon as I got home and it was all warm and cozy, yeah, I just got extremely tired. Um, yeah, that was very interesting and overall the ice bath was an amazing experience. I really loved it. It was actually much less scary than I thought it would be. Of course, when I just, when I dipped my upper body into the water, it was just very hard to breathe, uh, which I expected. But what I really liked was that after a minute or something, my breathing would just normalize, 
on its own and I would feel much better, much, much calmer and also right at that same time my uh, while my hands and feet were very very cold the middle part of my body was super warm and just felt just super safe and that's probably also the reason why I got so calm because I really didn't feel that I was in danger anymore <laughs> which might be a bit stupid because actually it's quite dangerous to be in ice cold water but um, yeah I kind of felt safe after a minute or so um, yeah and it was also very funny to get out of the lake afterwards and it was also not cold at all even though it was like a minus six degrees or something um, yeah so very interesting experience something which I didn't really think about which was also probably quite stu stupid thing um, is that um, it can be a bit dangerous as a beginner if you get into the lake and um, forget about the fact that your body gets numb in such extreme low temperatures which I did. Um, I got into the lake and was actually surprised that uh, there was quite a thick ice cover on the water even though it was a part of the lake where the water was moving because it was flowing from one smaller lake into, the, into a bigger one. Um, yeah, so I was quite surpri surprised that there was still ice on the water so I just broke it with my legs and my hands as you've probably seen in the, in the video and I really wasn't very careful doing that and when I came out of the lake I noticed that I was had just tiny spots bleeding on my knees and today my legs are bruised all over so yeah be very careful about the fact that you do not feel pain when your legs get numb due to the cold I was quite lucky that nothing really bad happened to my legs. Maybe it's a good idea to wear something protective on your feet if you don't know what could be inside of this lake you're going into. Uh, especially the lake we went into, it was uh, kind of sketchy. Uh, it wasn't really a bathing spot, I think. So I think if I do an ice bath one more time, which I really plan on doing, I might also try to pick another spot that feels a bit safer to go into. <laughs> because yeah, as I said, it was really a place where people go bathing normally. Yeah, but yeah, as I said, overall it was a cool experience and I would really love to do it again. Uh, especially in autumn because I think it's a great opportunity to get used to the cold when the temperatures start to drop and stuff so yeah apart from exposing myself to the cold I also like to use the darker month of winter for gaming and watching series like the Wheel of Time which started recently on Amazon Prime and the costumes were so amazing that I immediately knew it was time for a new cosplay in the end I decided for Maureen Zedai We are about to go fabric shopping right now and I'm really looking forward to it. I've been waiting for this for quite some time and I've been planning my cosplay very carefully because I want to buy very high quality fabrics which are probably going to be very expensive so um, yeah it really needs to be well planned so I don't uh, yeah, waste any fabric or buy the wrong fabric or whatever. Okay, so we just 
came home and I wanted to show you the fabrics that I bought. I think I'm going to start with the coat fabric. It's pretty heavy. This is the fabric, so it's a lovely dark blue-black color, which I really love and it just feels amazing on the skin. It's very soft and it's actually called coat fabric. That's what it said on the label. And yeah, I can really see this looking really, really cool for the coat. And also what I really love about this fabric is that it's quite thick, but not too thick. So I think my sewing machine should be fine with this fabric. And also for the inside of the coat, I bought a very interesting fabric which is this one and maybe you haven't seen it in the series when you watch it because it's not very obvious but the inside indeed is similar to th this fabric it's not per a perfect match I gotta be honest but it has a blue black pattern which is similar to this the only difference is that it uh, this one also has some brown patches in between but I still like it a lot and I think it's gonna look very very cool when I when like little parts of the inside show. For Moran's top I found this fabric which is just so perfect and it was actually in the sale section of this of the shop which is just huge luck for me because it's not a huge piece of fabric it's just one meter and eighty centimeters but for a top that's perfectly fine that that will absolutely do and the special thing about this fabric is that it has this amazing texture which looks in my opinion very very similar to the texture of Moran's shirt in the series uh, unfortunately I think I can't put screenshots in but if you've watched the series you've probably seen that it also has a texture which is very similar to this and I think also the color matches pretty fine. This one might be a bit more difficult to sew though, I will see. For the pants I found this beautiful fabric. It's just incredibly soft and just it has an amazing flow to it. It just moves very nicely and it said on the label that it's a wool look fabric so it's actually cotton but it kind of looks like wool just a little bit at least which is great because I'm vegan and I really um, want to avoid wool so yeah it's it's just so lovely it has a nice texture it feels soft but quite robust and yeah I'm just really happy about the fabrics I found these are all that I found I actually also wanted to shop for some beads because Moran's shirt does have some beads sewn on it but I just didn't have any more time because I already spent two hours in there and my boyfriend was already like come on let's go home <laughs> it's uh yeah it's can be quite exhausting because you really want to find the perfect fabric so I'm gonna look for beads sometime later in the process which is totally fine because it's probably one of the last things I'm going to do I'm really happy with the choice of fabrics I have here and I just can't wait to start sewing. Mm -hmm. 